bright, breezy and bracing. That's what they say about the quaint coastal town of Bridlington in the northeast of England. Situated where the rolling hills of the Yorkshire Wolds meet the North Sea, this place has long been popular with tourists. Transworld Sport made the day trip to Bridlington to find out more about a sport that we've never featured on the show before. Take golf and combine it with football, and you've got the new sport of foot golf. Bridlington recently hosted the inaugural UK Foot Golf Open Championship. Mike O'Connor is the organiser of the event and chairman of the UK Foot Golf Association. As simple as the name sounds, it's played on a golf course, following the rules of golf, um, the object of the game being to complete the course in the lowest amount of shots possible. But instead of golf clubs and a golf ball, we kick the ball round uh, with a size five football into a 20 inch hole. The origins of foot golf are unclear, but its development into an official sport can be attributed to the Netherlands, where a set of standardised rules were finalised in 2009. The golf courses that are, are deciding to get involved with foot golf are seeing uh, a lot of people socialising and bringing additional revenue to the golf course. Firstly, by playing foot golf and the, the green fees that the courses get from that, but also the secondary spend from coming here and socialising and, and all the other things that go with it. The foot golf holes are placed on the fairway so that the greens aren't damaged. But what do the golfers make of the new arrivals? Captain of the Bridlington Lynx Golf Club is Peter Wilkinson. I mean, obviously, this is the first time foot golf's uh, been taking uh, place at the Bridlington Lynx. Um, and the etiquette between the players of foot golf and the golfers that's been playing, I think, has been exceptional. There's been no animosity. Um, they've got on well with each other. In 2012, the International Foot Golf Federation was established, and there are currently 14 member nations. The Federation is hopeful of expanding to include 10 more countries this year. Here at the UK Open in Bridlington, apart from the British based players, there are entrants from as far afield as Argentina, Italy, Hungary, and the Netherlands. Up for grabs is a first prize of £1,000. Foot golf is a friendly sport. It's all about control of the ball. The physical contact side of football is not present, and for someone who's 40 years old, that's a good thing. When I was younger, I used to love kicking the ball around, and I still do. The key for any foot golfer is matching power with precision, and like golf, a player's short game is crucial. A good foot golfer has to have a great touch. It's not just about blasting it as far as you can. You need to have a range of kicks in your locker. You need to be able to put spin on the ball, hit it flat, hit it long, chip it. There's a lot of important skills required. Dutch national champion Simon Wetzel puts all those skills into practice, boasting a score of 62 for a first round lead. I take a fairly cautious approach. I try not to make many mistakes. So far I'm doing well, and I'll aim to keep ahead of the other competitors. If I can continue to do what I'm doing, I'll be right in the hunt come the end. The second and final round of the championship takes place in the type of testing weather that Lynx courses are renowned for. The driving rain sees many of the players struggle. But one man who doesn't buckle is Simon Wetzel. The Dutchman's cautious approach pays off and he pulls clear of the field. Oh. 
Spitzel goes on to secure victory, becoming the first ever UK Foot Golf Open champion. Despite the conditions, the event is hailed a success by the players, who are all keen to return next year. When people first come across this sport, they think it's a bit of a joke. But we're all serious about it. And who knows, one day it might be an Olympic sport. That's the ultimate dream. But there's a long road ahead. We have to continue with the development of the game and get more media attention. That way, we'll attract more players. Foot golf as an Olympic sport may be unlikely, but if the interest and popularity of the sport continues to grow, one thing is for sure, foot golf will be here to stay.